It was Christmas Eve as we took our six-month-old baby boy on his first drive of many to the city. We had high hopes of seeing the neurologist and getting positive answers for Nate's delays. I had been holding on to the words spoken by other healthcare professionals, like holding on to the edge of a cliff for dear life. He will grow into it. He is doing so well. He is thriving. But I analyzed the other boys his age, walking, eating food, talking, and playing. I knew these words can't be true for him. It was on that day that I lost hope with two words, massive stroke. Seeing his brain damage was overwhelming. The only words I can remember from the healthcare professionals that day were profound deficits, may be in a wheelchair, drooling, may never speak, may not understand you. I remember sitting in the shower of our hotel room, curled up in a ball. Tears were rolling down the drain with the water cleansing me. I sat there for a long time to find the strength to stand back up. I wasn't ready to hear the possibilities to come. That drive home, I felt like an empty shell of who I used to be. Our next two years were a roller coaster. Appointment, diagnosis, therapy. Appointment, diagnosis, therapy. Appointment, diagnosis, medications, therapy, surgery. Appointment, diagnosis, medications, therapy, surgery. These two years were a blur. This journey consumed our family, my spirit, and my world. I wrestled with the thoughts of what needed to go into each day. I would tell myself to breathe, but I couldn't catch my breath. It was hard to admit my reality to myself. I felt inadequate. How can someone with no education in the medical field accomplish all this work? Am I the best person to help Nate reach for the skies? I started researching and we moved to Edmonton for four months where they gave me a crash course in therapy and the importance of early intervention. They made me feel that I could do it. With the help of our new rehab team back home, I gained new strength. They continued to model and teach me the best ways to give Nate a fighting chance to improve and to beat the odds. I started hearing the words, improvement, possibility. The sky is the limit. My faith started to turn into hope. After two long years, Nate stood by himself for the first time. At that moment, in our living room during Christmas, it felt like the sky opened up and the light shined down on my little boy. He was a fighter. He was defying the odds. Nate can now talk full sentences to express himself. He can run with his sister. He is starting to use his right hand. He is playing with his friends and going to school. He seems fulfilled. I am now not comparing my little boy's journey with other kids. I found my acceptance that he is on his own path and that's okay with me. Thanks to the support of our doctors, rehab team, family and friends, Nate is reaching for the stars. He is the superhero of his dreams because of the continued support from our medical superheroes.